I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Hot. Hi everybody, my name's Amanda. I'm kinda new here. Currently, we are in the midst of a snowstorm. So, I'm kinda making things work in what we already have. So, yes, there's lots of lights. There's a window behind me, but whatever. So what I'm currently doing is I'm picking out a, my grandmother got me this book, uh, Flavors of the Quad Cities. It's from my hometown. And she's, I found a recipe that I have, well, most, kinda. I'll make it work. Most of the ingredients for. And it's poor man's jambalaya. Here, I'll hold it up here so we can do a screenshot. back that up a little bit. Here, you can do a screenshot. There we go. Well, and I thought, hey, why not do this in my Instapot? Mostly because there's rice in this dish. I'm not good with rice at all. And so because there's only two of us, there, what we did is we decided to have it. And uh, so wish me luck. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the Instapot. I'm gonna take off the lid, I'm gonna put it on saute mode. This is the Crock-Pot Express that's been recalled, but mine's fine, I think. So if we hear random cussing throughout this whole deal, it's because my husband is being lovely and fighting with the can opener. I'm going to say that that is absolutely how I roll also. And so the very first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add it, the recipe says um, four teaspoons of oleo. Well, is that butter or margarine? That's what, oh, oh shoot, I'm only having it. I don't need that much. So two tablespoons of oleo. Here's the math I uh, didn't do. You know what? Butter goes in the Instapot. It's gonna melt. We're gonna saute in onions, celery, and garlic, so that makes sense. The next thing I'm gonna do, the um, butter is melting, but I also have to uh, do the spice mix. And I have, well, I think I had everything for it, except one item. Which, hey, you make it work. That's what Google's for, right? Let me throw in my veggies. When I get onions or peppers, I totally cheat. Totally cheat. We just throw them in the Instapot, by the way. Um, what we do is we take, either my husband goes, I'll do it, or if I'm feeling like up to it or feeling like it, what I do is get out the food processor and freeze them. Why? I'm, it's easy. Why well, do it hard? So anyway, I've got onions, peppers, celery, uh, and so we know. What I'm doing is three quarter cups of both onions, or both, all three, onions, celery, and uh, peppers. <laughs> I totally had a brain fart. Like, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, so next I need to make the seasoning mix. While this is doing its thing, um, I'm going to let that go for a little bit before I throw in my garlic because I don't want that to burn. We have, in this recipe, it has half a teaspoon of dry mustard. So... We are doing a quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. Hey, I found my quarter teaspoon thing. Cool, I, I haven't used this in ages. Quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. Uh, one teaspoon of black pepper.
recipe had told me to add the meat in, but since this turkey is already cooked, it, well, I mean, it's frozen at the moment, but it's been, it'd be safe to eat if it was thawed. We are going to uh, be grateful that this is pretty much done. And, it, and dark meat. So that way it's extra flavorful. And while this recipe doesn't really call for it, I am adding in some, uh, and I, I've never had a jambalaya without andouille. And because my andouille is frozen, I had hot dogs from Costco. This is, well, garlicky and delicious, and we're going to throw that in too. This recipe says to use two, a two pound can of kidney beans. Well, I had a one normal size can of kidney beans and I drained it. So I'm throwing it in. So that's cool. And I have some dried beans. Well, they were dry. Now they're frozen. Beans, beans in general. Then I'm just gonna, and it's a three bean mixture. It's probably got red beans, lentils, um, pinto beans, God knows who's, what else is in there. It also called for tomato sauce. Um, remember that time I said it was a snowstorm and we're not going anywhere? Well, we're not going anywhere. I have, um, homemade tomato paste. I'm throwing two, two ice cubes, of, or paste cubes. And we're going to give it a shot. And we're gonna do, uh, I think it was one cup of rice. Um, I have a quarter cup. Uh, the recipe calls for, like the big recipe calls for two cups, so I'm gonna do uh, one cup of rice. This is a quarter cup measuring spoon cup. And so I'm just gonna put that in here. Okay, four spoon, four cup, half quarter cupfuls. And take my giant thing of rice and put it over here. It also asked for this recipe also called for um one, four cups of meat stock. Well, I don't have meat stock. What I do have is chicken stock and I have cans they're 14 ounces and since we've got rice and beans in here we're gonna go with this they're 14 and a half ounces nothing terribly exciting on this one we're just pouring it in okay oh and we were supposed to add gumbo filet file what so that is a teaspoon of gumbo fi file, fi filet, whatever. I don't, I don't use this stuff often. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add cornstarch because my, my Googling has told me that is a two to one. And uh, so, I put in one teaspoon of cornstarch. It's a thickener from what I understand and we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna give it a stir. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna turn out. I've not tried this before. We're gonna try it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm a lot nervous on this one. If anything, if this goes bad, frozen pizza. 
Cool. So, here it is. Ooh, steamy. Okay, so that is the turkey jambalaya. And instead of andouille, we use hot dogs. So, just one moment, we'll plate it up and I'll we'll figure out how it set, how it tastes. So this is what it looks like with our substitute andouille, turkey, beans, all the veggies. Yeah, that looks tasty. It smells really good too. So, time to give it a shot. It's quite steamy. I'm not going to be like some other YouTubers that entertain the heck out of me and say ooh and burn their mouths. But I am going to build the perfect bite. So first, I'm going to take my rubber bands out of my mouth. Just one moment. Now I can take the perfect bite because rubber bands. Um, I have turkey, I have some of the hot dog, which is our substitute andouille sub, and uh, some rice and veggies, and down match. That's really good. It's got a little bit of a spice that hits you about right, right well, hits me about right here. But it's not overly spicy, and that's good. Of course, I'm a garlic fan. I could have put more garlic in, but I'm not going to complain. It's pretty good. Now, get some of the rice and the beans. Mm. Even the substitution of beans is a good call. Well, so, there. We're using up some holiday leftovers, you know, leftover turkey. Pulled it out of the, I had it frozen, so I pulled it out of the freezer. And some stuff we had around the house. We made it work. And I think I did all right. So if you try this recipe, which will be typed down in the doobly-doo, the description box, the thingy below me, let me know what you think. And if you don't, well, that's fine too. So guys, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. I'm gonna go eat my dinner. Hot. I'm gonna let it cool down. See you soon. Bye.